watching a master at work. All right, guys, so today uh, I'm going to show you guys how I make my shirts. Um, I haven't been doing any car stuff for a while, but here's some screens that I have that I bought. Um, what you do is you just take some degreaser that you buy from a print shop and then clean the screen before you print with it. I have my little press set up here. It's just a, a forearm press, but I only have one being utilized currently. I'm going to extend a four. I'm going to try and experiment with some plastisol printing, which is the plastic base, which water base is nice and all, and it blends with the fabric, but uh, this plastisol ink is the good stuff. Uh, water base is more eco-friendly, which is not bad, but uh, the, the colors just fade way too easy in the wash. So, I have a Ryanette press. I also have the you know the light safe environment you have to create with the light bulb in order to prevent the screen from being exposed prematurely so plastic bags in the uh, window and stuff but uh, how I do it is I go on my my what you call it here my computer and uh, I just go into Photoshop and uh, I make stuff so what I do is I'm gonna open up this new design I'm gonna print for you guys on a uh, black t-shirt but uh, let's see if it'll open up here computers kinda pissed but uh, I bought this kit called DIY print shop from Ryanette or screenprinting.com they teach you everything you need to know um, you gotta buy transparencies and stuff with a photo printer not an inkjet or I mean a laser printer sorry inkjet not laser and uh, you print the design on an 8.5 by 11 transparency and then you take that and you put it over the screen after you coat the screen with some uh, some of the water-based or plastisol based uh, emulsion and you get a blank screen and then you just put your it's pink the emulsions pink and then you put the transparency over the screen and burn the image into the screen with a UV light. So I have my little UV light right here. The exposure time is about nine minutes depending on the screen and how thick your coat of emulsion is. And after that you wash it out right away and the design washes out. But the curing per screen is four hours. So you gotta wait four hours which kinda sucks. And plus, but uh, I recently just opened up my business. Um, on my big cartel, if you follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, it's Jesse Drifts. But I opened up uh, my business. I'm actually registered in the state of Colorado and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I've just been kind of messing with the design here. It's just pulling up the format. I'm going to be doing an 8.5x11 print onto a shirt. Uh, kind of help support the drifting and stuff. Um, things are getting pretty expensive, so I don't know if I'll be able to, uh, you know drift too much this year but here's one of the designs I've been messing with uh, let me know if you guys want to see a specific setup um, this all the black is going to be any colored ink on the t-shirt and the white's going to be the t-shirt so um, I was thinking about doing it all in one color to make it simple and you know affordable fifteen twenty dollars a shirt depending on what uh, how expensive the design is to uh, create I was thinking about farming out the uh, t-shirting stuff to, you know, like a local, uh, sorry, the zoom, I was going to think about farming out the uh, screen printing to a local company because mass production is, is really expensive if you don't have the equipment. I have the equipment to do mass production, but it's silk screening, which is expensive and it takes a lot of time, which I don't have a lot of. Um, most of the free time I have is spent fixing my car, getting it ready to drift, you know, doing stuff like that, buying tires, you know, going to the shop, helping Trevor, David, messing around, you know, doing that kind of stuff with the drifting, going to events. Um, but uh, I'm also doing my business, so that's taken a lot of my free time. So making the shirts and doing everything in-house by myself takes a lot of effort. And also, I'm not really that good at centering and, you know, getting 
the prints premium 100%, you know, no smudges or anything like that in the side. So uh, this is that. Uh, let me show you here. All right, so I got my life sa light safe environment set up. Uh, this old emotion emulsion is really bad. It's over three months old, so I have to mix some new emulsion up. And I bought this WBP water-based plastisol, so it's a dual cure emulsion. It does water basing and, and plastisol since I do both. So I'm going to try and coat the screen after I mix the diazo. So let me put the uh, screen down here. You want to have a rag handy, and you also want to use gloves, because if you get this stuff on you, it's definitely going to stain. Uh, so no reason to do all that. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to open up this uh, box. And you want to keep this stuff out of the sun. Like definitely out of the sun, because all this stuff will go bad. It's light sensitive, all that kind of stuff. So it comes with the diazo that you have to mix. This is the diazo. You got to mix it with. Uh, uh, oh, it's stuck in my head. I got to mix it with the uh, distilled water. So this is this will probably last like two, three, maybe four screens, depending on how thin it is. So when you open it, you want to make sure you're not around. So they give you a little instruction sheet right here. Mix the diazo to do all that stuff and mix it. If you have a high humidity level, you just want to make sure that you get a dehumidifier, but in Colorado we're really dry, so that's good. Uh, so what I have to do here is mix it after I put the distilled in here. So let me grab the distilled. Okay, so I got the distilled. What you want to do is you want to open this. Let's see if I can get it open here. And yeah, like I said, this does stain, so you want to make sure you get uh, some clothes you're not really fond of too much. Uh, once you mix it, it is a three month shelf life. You can get a little bit more life out of it if you put it in the fridge. Just don't allow it to freeze. So it's really bad. Let's see if I can even open this here. There we go. Oh yeah. So that's how you tell it looks like a pink cotton candy when it's nice and fresh. Nice bright pink. You can't see with the yellow light safe environment, but you take this diazo. You mix this in with distilled. Take a little bit and pour it in here. All right. You can put that away. What you want to do is put the bottle on here and mix it. Make sure you dissolve everything. Shake it vigorously so it mixes all that stuff because there's pretty heavy particles in that powder. And just kind of pour that in there. And what you want to do. While I'm doing this, I'll film it here. What you want to do when you mix that diazo in there? Try not to spill it. Just mix the ink. Go bottom to top. It starts to thicken like ice cream basically and then you uh, let it sit after you mix it for about two hours to get the air bubbles out of it so I'm gonna do that alright so what I'm gonna do is let this emulsion 
chill for a little while and let this scoop cutter dry and then I want to put that in there and then coat the screen. Alright, so since I'm waiting I'm going to print one of these Colorado Drifting as Dope shirts for a, a homie. In Chalarato I'm going to try out these uh, this new Lava Wilflex Low Bleed Plastisol ink. So what I'm going to do is tape the edges so the ink doesn't bleed off into the fabric. Just make sure that the shirt's good. Squared away here. And the cool thing with the Plastisol is it doesn't evaporate so it will print as long as it's clean. So you can leave it on the screen and just let it chill but with the water base you have to flood the screen like right away because it's going to get evaporate the water and the ink's going to stick in the screen and then your screen is ruined so you have to buy a new screen. So that's why I want to experiment with this new Plastisol ink and see you know how it prints. Everyone says it's more vibrant colors, it doesn't you know fade out in the wash and stuff. So uh, I'm going to set this screen up and then uh, show you guys how it prints I guess. Yeah. So as you guys saw, I printed a shirt with the first time with the Plastisol ink. It looks pretty good. It's definitely way better than the uh, water-based ink. So I might just switch over to direct Plastisol emulsion with some of these designs because you can see a little tiny bit of a shadow. It's just because this purple emulsion is dual cure, so it's water-based and Plastisol-based. The Plastisol-based emulsion is really you know, more durable and thicker and last longer. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it looks good. It's not too bad. I mean, keep in mind, this is all of my own designs and my own work. So, uh, you know, I charge $15 and it's more of like a, a support me kind of thing. Um, it's definitely a good shirt. I'd rate it 8 out of 10 in my personal opinion. I mean, the if you can see the lines look pretty good. So... Just like if you look on a microscope, like within a foot, or not within a foot, but within like an inch or two, you can see that. But far away, you know, it's not bad. So yeah, um, but that's going back to what I was saying earlier about uh, 
I might just farm it out to a, a printing firm, you know, because they can do a premium and better and they have more products and equipment to make it nice, nicer than I can. Um, a flash drive is like a grand and all, they have all this crazy stuff that, and they know what they're doing because they do it all the time. So it almost be better to increase the expense for me to give you guys good high quality t-shirts. So, But uh, for little pop shop shirts to support the drifting and my channel and stuff and keep bringing you guys good content and good, uh, you know, apparel and, and equipment and, and stuff, you know, just uh, keep supporting me and buying the shirts and stuff. I do this just out of my free time. So I like wearing drifting stuff and stuff I can work on cars in and be like, yo, what's up? Look at my stuff. Like I like got cool t-shirts and stickers and stuff. I'm sticker crazy. So uh, I do have a sticker coming out soon. It's going to be a uh, two or an inch and a half high by five inch wide slap of my car livery and my design. So uh, keep an eye out for that. And uh, I'm going to link my big cartel in the link of this video and continue to show you guys how to print shirts. Next I'm going to spread this emulsion and let the screen dry. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to do water based with this and then I'm going to farm out the same design with a t-shirt company and compare the differences. So this is how you coat a screen with the emulsion. So I'm going to put the camera here and you can see me squeegee this. So you want to put it in the scoop coater on the sharp side to get a nice clean dip here. So this has been sitting. You want to fill it up a quarter of the way. So we want to do this. There you go. And it gets really, really messy. So you want to have a rag handy, most definitely, so you can get this stuff kind of not sticky all over the place. As you can see, my table's pretty pretty gnarly around here. Um, so I clean all that stuff up. And what we'll do is we'll just put this back on here in case I need to use it later. So you let the ink chill. You can see here, it's in there, ready to go. So I'm gonna take this and scoop it onto the screen here. So you wanna do the back side first. Hold the screen at a 45 degree angle. Tank, come here. Here, my cat meowing. So what you wanna do is go to the bottom on the edge here. Kinda go to the bottom. Put the screen right there. You want to dam the ink up to the screen here. So you dam it, kind of pull back at a 45 degree angle, flood the screen, and saw the top. So I kind of got a little messy here, but what we'll do is we'll dam it again. screen just a little bit more get that in there and it is pretty messy so I would recommend definitely doing a couple more screen posts slide it up there you want that zip sound so that's what you want so that looks good sweep here. Alright, where that looks good. Nice even pressure. So that's good. See a little bit of an ink spot right here in the middle. I'll try and get that out a little bit. So I'm not an expert or anything like that, but uh, I've done it enough to where I can do it uh, pretty good. Just, just really messy. I'm really messy. 
My nickname for my parents is Messy Jesse. So that looks pretty good. So what we're going to do, is we get really worried about that coat, so you want to do this, you want to flip it. Careful not to touch any of the emulsion anywhere, because it's really, really messy. So I'm going to do this one more time, damn the screen, and pull it. utensils to store this screen upright to dry. I'm going to do that and that. All right, Tank, calm down, buddy. So when you have like children or pets or something, you want, definitely want to keep them away from this stuff because if it gets on them, it's going to be hard to get off. So you want the bottom side to drain or gravity feed the dry ink down. So the flat side down, and you want to let it dry for four hours. And to reclaim some of this ink, what you can do is just take the scoop coater and just do this with your finger. Pour it in there, because this stuff is like 45 bucks for this, this little pint of ink. So what I do is I just do this with my finger. Oh, shizad. Messy Jesse living up to his name. Pour that back in there. Go. There you go. All right. So that's pretty much well done, clean. I'm gonna put this in the sink. See, that's the thing that I love about water-based ink and stud is it cleans up really easy. Plastisol inks are everywhere because it's water-based. So yeah, it's freaking crazy. So I'm going to let this chill, I'm going to wipe it off a little bit more. Once, this, once again, this emulsion, uh, put a date on it, it's, once you mix the diazo into it, it will only last three months. So that's that. I have a little mini fan right here I need to set up. So I'll set this up just to help dry it a little bit. If you look, nice clean surface. So that's that. Okay, so what you want to do is set up your UV setup, and I'm going to turn the light off and then plug this in because you gotta get this all done up right so it uh, cures correctly. So let me just orientate this. So it doesn't get on the screen here. So we're going to do that. You plug it in. Set the timer for nine minutes. I'm going to do ten just to be safe. So what I'm going to do is turn this off. And you let it expose for nine minutes. You want to center the UV light right above the screen and invert it. So see how it's backwards. That's what you want to do. Make sure it's center, draw a center line. I drew a center line on the other side. But this is the new design, new design I released on my Instagram coming out. I'm also going to, like I said, have somebody else uh, print a run of these as well. And do a quality comparison of mine versus a professional shop. So what I'm going to have to do is keep the lights off. Hopefully this doesn't affect it, but... Basically, you just don't want the UV light to get to it. So you got to use positive pressure. I'm going to use this to spray it out, but and we will see. 
All right, so I just got done finishing up the screen, uh, washed it out and all that stuff. It's hard to film by myself, but here's the back side. Can't really see it in the dark, but it looks pretty good. See if I can, I gotta let it dry, but looks pretty good. No spots through it. You can see through it, that's good. The emulsion isn't peeling or flaking, so. Look at the GoPro. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But yeah, if you want one of these, let me know. 15 bucks plus shipping. Thanks for the support.